You okay? I think we're live. Hey, y'all. It's Tina and Peter. We're in our new office at Indigo River Tiny Homes. We want to show y'all around the shop. Yeah, we got new digs and want to give y'all a sneak preview because uh, we're going to have an open house in uh, about a month on uh, September 26. 26th. And then we'll do one also October 17th. Hey, Diane. So, um, we just posted, and you guys can RSVP. We're doing it by invitation only because um, that, that helps us with the whole mask thing. Um, but we will be social distancing. and, and uh, We want y'all to do whatever you, makes you feel safe. That's right. So, uh, let's take a walk. Yeah, let's go outside. This is our little lobby area, and... We'll show the rest of the office later once we get some furniture. <laughs> so this is our, those are our neighbors. Okay, so we've got some parking here, but plenty of parking on the street. Um, you can only park on this side, on our side, but we've, Got a nice spot with some shady parking and plenty of space to put some tiny homes. Okay, so this is our 32 by 10 foot wide. That's right. Talk loud. Can y'all can hear us, right? And we and this one is going to be for rent on Airbnb in a couple of months. Down by the lake. Down by the lake, so you can try it before you buy it. <laughs> We did a short video, yeah. But it's got a, a nice storage shed in the front. This is pretty, the, well, that's actually a little bit smaller than our standard storage shed. Ends up being a little bit bigger because we put those windows. Those are windows over the kitchen counters for some light. It's like daytime under cabinet lighting. Yeah. Uh, let's show them the storage shed in the back. It's, it's the standard deluxe storage shed. Yeah, we can. Well, let's go inside first and then we'll. All right, so some of y'all have seen this if you've come by. It's a uh, lake, oh gosh, Richland Chambers. Richland Chambers Lake is where it's going. Yeah, and so we'll be parking this there, and then um, it's a gated RV and tiny house community on playground. the lake. They've got a dog park and a playground and all that kind of stuff, and they'll have it up on... I guess we'll have it on Airbnb, but it's, she's asking who's going to be renting it. Um, they'll also have a website yeah. that's just separate. We'll, and we'll have a link to it on our website. Totally. As well. Uh, this one, we did a, this is the biggest kitchen we've ever put in a tiny house. And we hadn't done one yet. And so this is, uh, you know, this is our house that we're going to be renting out. So uh, we wanted to try out a big kitchen, so we did this big U-shaped kitchen. And we also have a lot of people to feed, so mm -hmm. we we wanted to have... Yeah, so it's got like three huge drawers. There's already some stuff in there. Some that's going to go out to the lake with it. It's got these nice corner cabinets. It's got two of these. So tons of storage there. Uh, upper cabinets. Tons of storage. Apartment-sized fridge. <laughs> But there it is. Know, like how big an apartment size fridge is. It's got the box underneath. An apartment size fridge in real life is like five feet tall. That box brings it up about a foot. So this is the kids' snack drawer that they can access their stuff, and then this yeah. is makes it taller so that you don't have to bend over to get into the yeah. into the fridge. Yeah, because so when it's all the way on the ground, it's like get down here to get inside the fridge, and then in the seat, in here, I think we have uh, about six foot. Four inches of head height underneath. Looks this. like more than that, because maybe six foot six. Yeah. Um, and then. So here's our sink. This is a standard sink we do in just about all of our houses, unless you want the farmhouse upgrade. Um, this is the stainless steel sink that we like to do because you have the built-in. It's got a little hanging back stuff. Here. And then we're gonna put a bar right here. There'll be a breakfast bar where kind of where Peter's standing. That's gonna come out into the room. Yeah, so that's split. on its way. We'll have the, we have the sliding patio door with lines between the glass. And then uh, 
and then outside that door we'll have a deck um, probably with some shade cloths and mm -hmm. over uh, this, is, this is where the sofa is going to go it's going to be a fold out sofa for extra sleeping so this will be able to sleep about six people when we're whenever it's done uh, or whenever it's out there and then behind the sofa, we've got storage for blankets and pillows. Whoa. <laughs> uh, the TV is going to be mounted on the wall over there. You can see that plug. So there's our accent wall that's reclaimed. Oh, yeah. Fence pickets and then the reclaimed. Uh, What's the other one? drop-offs from the trim work. Okay. Reclaimed trim from our shop and then reclaimed fence pickets from. Yeah. Normally, would, those would go on the trim machine. You know? And then... Uh, do our standard, these are our standard storage stairs that we do in, in most of our houses. You want to go in the bathroom? Sure. Yeah, it's so dark in there. I wish we would have plugged it in before. Oh, yeah. All right, so you can see our vanity with the... You, this is an upgrade, the the, um, the vessel, vessel sink, sink, and then... It's got huge drawers underneath. But then you can also just get the standard drop-down sink. This is the combo washer dryer and we do vented this one's not vented but we do normally do vented ones yeah. so they don't take forever to dry right and then it's not too terribly dark we did this is an upgrade the tile work and then but bathtubs acrylic bathtubs are standard soaking tub yeah that's a nice deep soaking tub i think it's got 14 inches of soaking depth which is good it yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Better than my house. All right. And you want to, you don't have to go up there. I'll just, you can talk it's about loft. the loft. Yeah. Um, so, it's a cherry <laughs> banister that matches the cherry spiral ladder. Yes. And then the, the countertops are cherry too, right? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm just going to peek up here. Yes, the towel work is fun. Diane, somebody came yesterday. This is this is going to be a um, twin bed here. I was going to say somebody came yesterday, and she on her way. She was thinking, "Oh, I hope I can get a tiny house with those stone yeah, tot stone." Yeah, river rock. And she walked in. She said, "Oh my gosh, I was so." This is exactly what she <laughs> exactly what she wanted. So there's the Rapunzel balcony, and then this is space for another twin size here I'll do the view so we can talk about the ceiling fan while well, I got a good shot of that a double ceiling fan if we've got one directed downward and one directed out toward the loft and it also spins 360 degrees so it'll spin like this while it's while the fan is blowing so it keeps circulates the air really well because there's just one uh, indoor mini split unit for the whole house so that that helps keep everything which is going through the air right here over there going into the other lot to see how it goes up to the ceiling the 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 wall the shelves yeah and so we got a room to room fan see that there. black square they can't it's it's just it looks like a black brown square i don't know and it's that's the room to room fan just to keep the circulation that's it's pretty important if you're building your own tiny house you want to think about air circulation because yeah. it get it can get stuffy in some of these cubbies some of these lofts. Definitely. Okay, so I'm coming down the spiral stairs. I gotcha. And I didn't fall. <laughs> All right, so our storage stairs always have the little place to tuck your shoes, and then we have another. We're, we'll be doing shoe storage over here with a basket. And place the umbrellas too. And then the right. stair lights. Oh, yeah. So we do the stair lights, of course. When you're coming down in the middle of the night to go yeah, to the bathroom. That make a great night light. And here's our deluxe split signature, level loft. Signature split level. So we got a round landing. Got a full size wardrobe here. Then the window seat that you lift that up for storage, and then full size wardrobe over here. And then a king size bed platform. You can see you can walk all the way around. So you don't have to fall over each other to get out of bed. Her mattresses are on the way. So you can see the back side of the room to room fan. We've, we added sconces. 
they don't look as cool on the video as they do. See, those are kind of cool. All right, so king size bed, you can fit a king size bed in the 10 foot wide, and then it'd be a queen if you do the eight and a half foot wide. So I'll do the view from here too. Get a shot of a big picture window. Oh yeah, it's been a. They've been seeing it. Yeah. Kathy, I'm glad you love it. Diane says she loves it too. Yay. All right. So yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna real quick. Next week we'll, um, of course, this metal had to be. We had to get a new piece of metal, and it's on its way in. But um, we'll do a we'll do a walkthrough of this. Yeah, this was totally off the roof. So Next week, really. Got here. It's got solar panels on the roof. And so, this is actually running in this one right now. and this is a mobile medical unit. Mobile medical unit. That's we right. built it for a church that has a health ministry, and so uh, we'll do the full free health care for people that don't have insurance. We'll do the full walkthrough next week, but we do want to show y'all this is um, a new feature that you can add on. We added it to our planning tool. Oh, well those stairs normally go down here on the... It's a so, fold up deck. It, it really takes two people to lift that deck. It's, kind of it's pretty heavy. Uh, but it's eight feet wide by six feet deep. So it's six foot by eight foot. Nice size deck, you know, big enough to put a you know, bistro table and a couple of chairs. Out yeah, there. or a grill or whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so if you're gonna move it or more often or you you just want something built in this is a good option and then it just folds up when you're traveling down the road so this one's eight and a half feet wide and it's a little shorter than the it's 32 feet long 32 feet long eight and a half foot wide but it's shorter than our normal since they're traveling so this is I don't know if we've done a little overhang porch with light. On, yeah, we did on a... But it, did it have lights? It did, yeah. Oh, okay. On a Abigail's house. So that's an option. You can make that stick out more, right? If you wanted it to... Yeah, we more than that, we'd need braces. Right. But, but yeah, but you can do it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we can just stick that four or five feet. Okay, so this is kind of the rest of our lot. We'll be filling yeah, it up with tiny doors, houses. They had to cut open bigger. This is why it took us so long to find the space because we got to have tall doors. See how that one's tall, and then this other one here is. And they were like these more than heavy doors. Yeah. More ten foot by ten foot doors. Although these, one of the things we loved about this place was the round wind, the rounded corners on the windows. We're called, we're from the '70s, so. They call them more windows. windows. <laughs> Out there all right so this there. is our shop there's our supervisor's office shop foreman mm -hmm. patch some of y'all have met him and then we've got 10 foot wide by 36 foot yep that's what that one is it the just got painted and then across the way there is an eight and a half foot by 32 that's a pioneer we'll go inside these two yeah, and then, in between and then we've got even more space you can see there's space down there to build more tiny houses we're gonna one one of these days have six going out at, at once Under roof, yeah. so more in the parking lot. Who knows? do you want to say anything about the trailers Texas made trailers we used to get them from the tiny house experts in Colorado but it was we wanted to get them and made in Texas and then also that saves on delivery <laughs> we're trying to get it from Colorado in the winter sometimes is a challenge so we took basically the best designs of all the we built on six different kinds of trailers yeah there's a few modifications to this one that it's a little bit different uh, from trailer made but it's, it's based on their design and then we added a few things that we like that we found that we liked and so we got custom trailers for everybody heavy duty 
All right, so this is the board and batten siding, which is, they didn't get any accents on the outside, so that's just the standard. You can do this kind of siding or the kind with the horizontal. Yeah, the lap board. Is that what that's called? Yeah. <laughs> lap board is the horizontal lines. Yeah. Okay. This, so, is, this is basically the same floor plan as, as our house. Um, it's just four feet longer. They did a larger bathroom, so the, the bathroom is really the main difference. Um, and the kitchen is a, a little bit larger. So hold your arms out. We just wanted to kind of show oh, yeah. like, oh, it's too dark. Okay. <laughs> so, see that so this is a 10 foot wide. Well, it, it's, you still kind of can't. Yeah. <laughs> Spin around. <laughs> but yeah, I, can, I cannot touch wall to wall or anything like that. That's, you know, in, inside width from wall to wall is, is nine foot. I don't know why I can't. Okay. About nine foot six inches, nine foot seven inches there around. Okay. So it's, we, a lot of people talk about how once you step inside, it feels a lot more roomy than they think yeah. it's going to be. And so we were just trying to show with the 10 foot wide. It's nice and wide. And then the eight and a half is still plenty of room. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, we, this one was so dark because they had the windows covered up from when they're painting it. Here's their storage shed, one of their storage sheds. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I wish you would spin. We'll spin in the eight and a half foot wide. He said Channel Wonder Woman. All right, so that's a giant shed because it's a 10 foot wide. Okay, so this one's a pioneer. This is a, it, it's not our first downstairs bedroom, but it's the first one in a long time that we've done. So if anybody wants to come see a downstairs bedroom floor plan, this is it. September 26th, we'll we'll be doing tours you can also schedule private tours if you're um if you can't come on a saturday we do tours in the afternoon on weekdays sometimes friday morning if you need a morning okay so it's so dark in here so this will be the living area right yeah this is the living i'm standing in the living room so he's still Still plenty of room to move around. So the, this is that made me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> We're old now. Yeah. All right, so you're in the living room. Yeah, and the wall to wall is seven and a half feet in this one. Okay. And so the living room here is going to have a galley kitchen. This will be like a little um, breakfast table here. Okay. Um, it's going to have the refrigerator and a coffee station here. Okay. And then this side will have the um, cooktop, built-in microwave. Uh, some upper cabinets and then some countertop space and then a farmhouse sink here. Okay. And, and then into the bathroom will be a three foot vanity here. Uh, there will be a stacked wash, stackable washer and dryer here. And then uh, that's the composting toilet. That's the, actually the toilet that's going in here. This is a nature's head composting toilet. And then a uh, 32 inch by 32 inch shower, which is a little bit smaller than what we normally do, but we could fit. Um, a 36 inch shower in here because of the wheel well and then um, you know in, in the size we, we weren't able to, to make it work unfortunately. but 32 inch and 32 inch is still that's still, a still plenty yeah, that's... yeah like I don't even in the space so you know this is so people the space yeah you have to and for a single person she's just it's just gonna be her living in it right yeah and then a uh, wardrobe here, some upper cabinets, and it's going to be a pop-up bed with storage underneath. So this is the bedroom. Did you say that? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is the bedroom. Pop-up bed. There's no loft except for right above the shower and the, the bathroom. This ceiling will have to be open, and then um, just storage here above the small storage loft. Yeah, small storage loft. Right there. All right. So this will be pretty, not finished, but it'll be pretty far along by september 26th yeah. <laughs> peter gets mad well y'all construction just there's always something i'm always hopeful yeah get it out. <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while that happens yeah. so here's their storage shed 
for the eight and a half wide. You're doing, are you doing your doors bigger than before? No. Oh, they just look, the opening looks so big when you're with all these ones. All right. Thanks for watching y'all. Yeah. Or if you want to call and schedule a private tour, or if you're ready to sit down and talk about all your tiny house details and goals and plans, we're happy to schedule that too. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.